you've had a very varied background, she said, and she wants to know how you actually became uh, a musician. What made you decide to become a musician and uh, to write music? Yeah. When I was younger, I um, was in a theater group and did some acting and directing and writing. Uh, music was, uh, was part of that, and um, as, a, as a kid, uh, 13, 14, um, I was writing uh, music, but I was also doing these other activities, and um, I decided uh, around 15 to just focus on composition. Um, during the making of the film, of the trilogy, uh, when did you start writing the music? Was it before or after, during the writing or the making of the film? Uh, I started writing in the summer of 2000. I went uh, to New Zealand and I saw parts of uh, Fellowship of the Ring. And we, um, we really started r really the research at that point, um, the summer of 2000. And then we came and uh, then we, Peter wanted to show a, a part of fellowship at the Cannes Film Festival in 2001. And so I wrote a piece of music for uh, The Minds of Moria, which is the middle part of Fellowship of the Ring, and I recorded that in New Zealand in, I think, February. And then we uh, came to Cannes uh, to show just that part of the film. It was a 26-minute part of the film. And I, I wanted to mention also that par part of the composition to Lord of the Rings was done in France, in the south of France. Because when I came to Cannes with the film, I, I mentioned the Mines of Moria. And what I was doing was writing through Moria into Loch Lorien. So the section, as uh, the Fellowship um, leaves Moria and, and uh, it continues their travels, was actually written in Cannes. And, um, the um, two towers I came to Cannes for uh, Cronenberg's film Spider, and I rented a house above Nice, up in the hills, and I wrote uh, the two towers uh, theme for uh, for Theoden. When Theoden is resurrected, I wrote in, in uh, just above Nice. Um, what was the? the why did you use the same of the symbolum was used um, for a, a, a theme for uh, for Gollum, and uh, in the when I wrote uh, the Shire music, I used uh, some Celtic Celtic instruments like Celtic harp and um, open tuning guitars and uh, penny whistle. And one of the instruments I used was a hammered dulcimer, and which is a, a folk instrument, a pretty old type of folk instrument. And Gollum, being a river hobbit who had had the ring and it had kind of just partly destroyed him, I used the cymbal, which is actually a grown-up dulcimer, um, to show kind of the evolution, like in Lord of the Rings and the orchestration, I'm trying to show the evolution of folk instruments and how they grew. And so in Fe Fellowship of the Ring, you have the penny whistle. In Return of the King, you have Sir James Galway playing the flute. So I'm trying to show evolution of sound as well over the course of the piece. So the hammer dulcimer, which was used in the Shire, what became the symbol of it, which is a more sophisticated hammered dulcimer in two towers. It was al also done with the, the uh, vocal sound. In uh, Fellowship of the Ring, you had more folk-oriented sounds. Enya's uh, beautiful singing in Fellowship of the Ring became Re Renee Fleming's a, a more uh, operatic but more sophisticated sound for Return of the King. Showing, trying to show the, the, the difference from the, the rural nature of the hobbits in the beginning to the warriors that are returning to the village and become, you know, they're more sophisticated now and trying to show these relationships and the evolution of folk sounds to, uh, you know, to more sophisticated. How did you manage to go from 12 hours of music um, for the films to two hours for the suite? Uh, with difficulty, really. I mean, because it's, it's uh, the, uh, 
the symphony is in six movements, which relate to the six books of Lord of the Rings. And that was a good, I had at least that form to, to work with, was the six movements. And um, two movements of Fellowship of the Ring is the first, uh, first act, really, or the first half of the concert. And then Two Towers, Return of the King, in four movements. And um, it was really, I wanted to make the symphony narrative. So when you listen to it, as you will tonight, I guess if you're going to go to hear it, you'll, you'll, it takes you on a journey. You begin in the prologue, it takes you to, you know, through the destruction of the ring and, and to the ending of the story. And so I wanted to make the symphony a, a journey, a piece. It, it could easily be longer to tell, you know, so much is left out, really. And um, I have re releasing, uh, last year, the complete recordings of Fellowship of the Ring, the first film, which are three CDs, and this year, two towers, three CDs, and Return of the King, four CDs. So the whole work is coming out on recordings. It'll be ten CDs. So it's really too long. You couldn't really play the whole work logically in an evening, it would take many, many evenings really to play it all. So she was just asking that whether you have any other projects coming up um, that not to do with film music necessarily. Um, and she said that she also heard that you were had you had a project on the, with David Cronenberg for the film The Fly. Yes. Well I I uh, my interest in opera began in um, in early eighties and which was actually kind of late for me, but I thought about setting the fly uh, for a long time. And uh, Placido Domingo thought it was a good commission. He commissioned it. Uh, and uh, David Henry Wong did a libretto for it, and David Cronenberg's uh, directing. And uh, it's set for, I'm almost finished the vocal piano music. It's set for uh, uh, the LA Opera in next year, next fall, and then it goes to the Chatelet in Paris in, uh, in 2008. <laughs> description of nature and uh, this is Tolkien's world a description of Middle Earth is a world that he created that's five to six thousand years ago uh, I composed the music a lot of it in, uh, in, in a forest in New York where I live and in New Zealand uh, that is very beautiful but I also wanted to let you know that two of the pieces tonight were composed in Cannes and in Vence uh, the River Anduin, uh, that you hear in the second movement, was uh, was written in a hotel in, in Pan during the festival. And uh, the resurrection of Theoden in the Two Towers was written in a cottage just outside of Vaughan's. So I just wanted to leave that the south of France is very important. And it's important.